सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एंड वी विल डिस्कस हेयर रिड्यूस्ड वोल्टेज टेक्निक नाउ व्हेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड स्टार्टिंग ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर वे फर्स्ट डिस्कस डिस्कस द डॉल स्टार्टिंग मेथड एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर वी हैव मैंशन दैट the starting current of a three phase induction motor is very high it is almost 5 to 6 times of the full load current now my motto is to reduce this full load current sorry the starting current so that it cannot hamper the motor windings now for that we have seen that there are two possibilities now through resistance we can control the current or by reducing the voltage we can control the current right now in case of slip ring induction motor we have provision and we can change the value of resistance and we can control the current but in case of squirrel cage induction motor because the rotor of squirrel cage induction motor is shorted with end rings so it is not possible to change the resistance value so in case of squirrel cage induction motor the starting current can be controlled by controlling the voltage that means by reducing the voltage we can control the current so that's why it is known as reduced voltage technique because we know current equals to voltage by short circuit starting impedance so there are three methods by which we can implement it this in case of squirrel cage induction motor one is called stator register starting auto transformer starting and start delta starting now here we will discuss auto transformer starting and start delta starting so first we'll discuss auto transformer starting so as we have mentioned earlier that we supply the reduced voltage in the stator now by two methods we can control this voltage or rather we can say we can reduce the voltage so the first technique is that by using a auto transformer by reducing the tap of the transformer we can get reduced voltage at the secondary and that secondary voltage we can implement it in the stator and the another technique is if we start the motor as star connection and then in the running condition it it can be converted into delta connection means basically it is a delta connected motor but it i will start it as a star connection so the benefit in is that that if we connected it in star connection during the time of starting then we know for star connection the phase voltage is line voltage by root 3 so the phase voltage is reduced by 1 by root 3 times so in both cases whether it is auto transformer starting or it is start delta starting we can apply the reduced voltage in the stator which is my prime motto through which i can control the starting current so in case of auto transformer starting so this is the circuit diagram of auto transformer starting so this is the three phase supply and this is a single throw three pole switch and this is the line current and this is the voltage in the primary of the auto transformer now suppose we have tap that auto transformer into the position of x means x per unit so if we do this correspondingly in the secondary we will get a voltage of x v1 so from v1 by changing the tapping to the minimum position of the auto transformer in the secondary i am getting a reduced voltage 
and this reduced voltage I am implementing in the star connected stator terminal. So the voltage across each phase of the stator is x v 1 right. So now so this is the circuit diagram of an induction motor which we have seen in case of block rotor test and during the starting it is similar to the block rotor test and we have mentioned it in in our last lecture that is the starting method using direct online starting now from this figure we can say the starting current equals to the supply is x v1 and z sc is the starting impedance so it is x v1 by z c and we know v1 by z c is the short circuit current we have seen in case of direct online starting so i s equals to v1 by z t and v1 equals to v l by root 3 by z c this is the starting current per phase in case of direct online transformer we have seen it now so this is the figure and we have just mentioned that i starting equals to x isc x isc so and we also know in case of transformer the frequency and power output power given constant so auto transformer input volt ampere equals to output volt ampere so the input current is il voltage is vn output voltage is x v1 and current is this i starting so il v1 equals to i starting into x v1 so il equals to v1 v1 will cancel each other so il equals to x ist and ist equals to x isc so it will become i l equals to x s square i s c now this value of x that is the tapping is always less than one because during this time of starting we are keeping the tapping into the minimum position so it is never reach the value of one during start starting so the value is in fraction and we know if it is in fraction the square value is also very very much less than this one so when we have studied doll stutter we have seen that il equals to isc right but in case of auto transformer we have seen that starting current has reduced starting current has reduced by excess square of percentage because in case of doll stutter we cannot control the starting current right that's why we have mentioned when we have started doll stutter that it cannot be implemented for a motor rating the 5 horsepower because then the other equipment which is into the power system due to the high change of voltage drop it will go out of synchronism so if we recall our doll stutter if we recall our doll stutter so this is my doll stutter right so we have seen that in case of doll stutter that that i starting equals to i sc that is v1 by z sc but in case of auto transformer x square term is appearing in case of auto transformer starting in case of auto transformer starting it is x square i sc so in case of auto transformer starting the current is reduced then the corresponding doll starting and this is the advantage of reduced voltage technique method now if i starting equals to x is we have seen the torque is this i 
t starting by t full load equals to this current square into the full load slip so now we got the i starting equals to this value so we will put here x i s c so it will become this so it will x square will go outside and th this will become short circuit current by full load current s u square and this into full load slip and this is nothing but this is nothing but this term is nothing but short circuit torque by full load torque so it is becoming x square by short circuit torque for full load torque so full load torque and full load torque will cancel each other so you will get the starting torque is x square of t starting so again the interesting fact is that we can see from here so the torque is the x square fraction than that of doll starting which we have seen so start starting torque in case of auto transformer is x square power unit of the starting torque of the doll starting so we have to maintain the tab in such a way so that the starting torque should not be reduced in such a amount that the motor fail to start that we have to keep in mind and when we have started doll starting we have seen for a six time of short circuit current the torque is 1.6 time of the full load torque the starting torque is 1.6 time of the full load torque for a slip of 5 percent whereas it is reducing in case of auto transformer starting now we will start another method of reduced voltage technique that is the start delta strike technique so as we have mentioned earlier this is implemented for doll connected stator induction motor uh, sorry start uh, delta connected uh, stator induction motor and here why we do why we what we do we start the induction motor in star position so that the phase voltage can be reduced by 1 by 3 times so we can able to put a reduced voltage which we are implementing here so if we this circuit diagram this is the three phase line and this is the single throw three pole switch and here it is a double throw three pole switch and this is my star connected this is these are the winding of the stator terminal so from each phase each phase has two terminals each phase has two terminals r phase has two this phase also two this phase also two. there is six terminal i will brought out from the stator terminal box six terminal will i will brought out now r will connect it to r y y and b so r is connected to r y is connected to y and this b is connected to b now this is a double throw three pole switch so what we do if we put this switch in this position start position so this is this is b y and r so b r y if we connect this means we put the switch in this position so all the three terminal will short it so it will form the neutral terminal for star connection so so the motor will start as a star connected stator so the phase voltage will reduced by 1 by root 3 times now as the motor speed will gradually increase and it will reach very near to the synchronous speed what we will do we will put this switch into this position so b will connect it to y r with b and y with r and so this is nothing but the delta connection this is nothing but the delta connection r with y r with b and this y with b so this is run start running as a delta connection now one thing here this switch first in start start position and then i can put it into the run position so this is can be done in two way manually we can control it manually we can put it using some lever first in start position and then into the running condition into delta position and or else we can do it automatically through some, through some switch when the speed will reach very near to the synchronous speed we will put that switch into the 
running position so it will be run start running as a delta connected motor so uh, so we can classify this as manual start delta starter and automatic start delta starter so first in start and then in delta so in star position the starting current is root 3 times of the line current we have seen the line current is here v1 so v1 by root 3 by starting impedance okay and isc equals to i delta that is delta position is v1 by zac so this is similar to the doll starting and we have seen in doll starting we have applied full voltage so in running condition also we will apply we are getting the full voltage so this this voltage v1 so this voltage v1 should not be the stator voltage should not be cross this v1 voltage right so it should not cross beyond v1 so this is my isc so the starting current and the running ratio is i star by i delta is nothing but the i starting by i short circuit so we will get 1 by root 3 time and 1 by root 3 is 0 0.58 so the starting current is 0 0.58 percentage of the short circuit current so here we can see we have seen earlier when we have started or transformer starting when we have started doll starting that in case of doll starting i starting is equals to i is but again here in our transformer it was x square and here this x square equals to 0 0.58 so as if in start delta starting we are using the same method which we have done in case of water transformer so here the tapping x equals to x x so tapping x equals to 0 0.58 in 58 percent i have done the tapping similar 58 percent is the my tapping if I have implemented in case of auto transformer. So here the voltage is the current is 0 0.58 of the short circuit current. So I am able to reduce the starting current by using this reduced voltage technique method both in auto transformer as well as in case of start delta starting. So we have seen that uh, starting torque by full load torque equals to uh, starting uh, starting in case of start delta the it will start at delta uh, sorry star so i star by i full load square into sf and uh, i sc by i full load equals to i delta by i full load that is i delta by i full load square into sf so we know from this torque equation and from here the full load full load will cancel each other so this is basically i starting by i full load equals to here full load full load will cancel each other so it is i y by i del square and i y by i del equals to 1 by root 3 because we have seen that i starting by i s equals to 1 by root 3 right so it is this value 1 by root 3 i put here so it will become 0 0.58 whole square that is 1 by 3 so the current is reduced by 58 percent whereas the torque starting torque reduced one third in comparison with the doll starting in comparison with the doll starting so starting torque is reduced by one third time of the doll starting right so this is all about start delta starter and auto transformer starter right so current is reduced 0 0.58 percent and torque is one third that is 0 0.58 square so start delta starter which i have just mentioned that uh, start delta starter a motor behave as if it is being started by an auto transformer with a ratio of tapping at 1 by root 3 is in the 50 percent so for this delta connected motor the starting torque with start delta starter is one third of the starting torque if it is started with torque the stator connected as delta this is also i have mentioned earlier
so this is all about the starting of squirrel cage induction motor so this is all about today's class in our next class we will start the speed control of three phase induction motor thank you